the Wright brothers were first to accomplish powered, controlled flight in 1903. However, they became secretive and began their patent war to monetize their invention, thus stifling aviation developments in the U.S. until the First World War. In 1909, French aviators accomplished some important innovations that sped up the development of aircraft improvements and increasing distance and altitude records. Louis Blériot, working with aircraft designer Raymond Salmi, seeking a more reliable engine from an Italian motorcycle engine developer, chose a three-cylinder, 25-horsepower, W rotary engine for their attempt to win the prize for being first to cross the English Channel. Their innovative monoplane aircraft layout was very different from the Wright's design, and most other prototype aircraft of that era, with engine in front and elevator surfaces behind, and the now familiar stick and rudder control. The Wright's pusher biplane with elevators in front and multiple pilot controls eventually proved too complicated to survive. The Blario 10 aircraft was a successful design, although it used wing warping for roll control until aileron development proved its superiority. The propeller was a two-bladed scimitar propeller made from laminated walnut wood. This propeller design was a major advance in French aircraft technology and was the first European propeller to rival the efficiency of the propellers used by the Wright brothers. Blériot's altitude over the channel was about 250 feet and a speed of about 45 miles per hour. The aircraft altitude record for that month in 1909, held by Henri Farman, was around just 460 feet and the speed record was 47 miles per hour. Aviation distance records were jumping higher every few weeks. Blario had no compass, but was within sight of either France. Ships posted in the channel or England for much of the trip.
about 21 miles and 37 minutes after leaving Cowley, Flario arrived at Dover, England. Neither was an aviation speed or altitude record at that moment. However, the Daily Mail newspaper had offered a prize for the first aviator to fly across the English Channel. The French government also rewarded the flyer. The aircraft, the designer, and the pilot earned much positive publicity and acclaim.